Hi guys, welcome back to another iPhone tutorial. In this one we'll be using a thing called NS Notification Center. What this does is let you send messages from any class to any class without having to have any interaction between them. So if I had a, a, a method in class um, 150 and class 1 is a login class, once they log in I would want to perform an action in another class, class 1 can send a notification to the other class to perform that action without having to have any import or interaction. So these are very handy for like running downloaded files or loading data once it's been fully imported into your data classes. So for this I'm just going to use the same setup I used for the um, tab bar tutorial. This um, empty class files will be on GitHub so you can start from the exact point I am. So to begin with we're going to go into our receiver class. Okay. Uh, we're going to set up a few things. First of all, we're going to set up IB outlet UI text field uh, counter one text uh, IB outlet UI text field counter two text and then int uh, counter one int counter Two. So what we're going to do is when we send a message from a button in view 1 to view 2 to increment a counter class without importing the classes. So they have no idea who each other are, they're just going to work. This is the beauty of um, the notification center. Enter your nib and we're going to add uh, two labels. Doesn't have to be pretty, just has to work. Copy paste. So call one counter one and the other counter two, or whatever you want to call them. And now we want uh, a two text fields. Copy and paste. And in your file zoner, connect counter text one to the text field and counter text two to the text field. Okay, since this is the receiving class, this is where we want to have our observers. Observers are basically they're watching the class and listening. They're listeners, even though they call observers. They're waiting for a command to reach them to do something. So we're going to add two observers to this class to wait for something from another class to come and help to do something. So first of all, we're going to set counter one and counter two to zero. Otherwise, you can sometimes get really weird um, numbers coming from uninitialized integers. I don't know where they come from, but it happens. Okay, so to start off, it's NS Notification Center, default center, add observer, and then you see the string, observer, ID, selector, da, da, da. this is what you want. Okay, so we're adding observer to self. It's going to be in this class. Selector is like adding a button selection, selector, and we haven't made this yet, but it's going to be called receive note if occasion you can call it whatever you want name and the name is very important this is the name that's going to be looking for to receive this command if you call it um super fun ride we have to call the post notification super super fun ride to find this so if the names don't match up it's not going to work it's like object and strings i'm going to call it test one string and object nil because we're not looking for the object we're looking for the name so close that off and done now we're going to have to have a second one of these because we're going to have two buttons we're going to need two notification two observers but change the name to test two okay now we're going to make this method now so uh, void Receive test notification, NS notification, not center, and notification. So it knows it's going to be receiving a notification type. Okay, now because we have, it's going to be two options, it has been if statement. So if bracket bracket notification name, so we're looking for the name here, the name. Sorry, it's a bit of room. Is equal to string test one bracket counter 
one plus plus and then counter one text dot text and then don't forget these text fields are strings we have to now cast the um, counter integer into a string format equals to n a string string with format and then percent d is the got to see casting into an integer counter one done now however because we're gonna have two buttons and two counters we have to have an else statement so else counter two plus plus and then same deal counter counter two text dot text equals to ns string S string string with format uh, not five percent d comma counter two okay so now we have to actually post these notifications so we're going to race back to our first view and we're going to make pardon me two actions so IB action one keep it simple id sender and then another ib action two id sender this is a very simple example but once you have this down you can do whatever you want with these these are extremely handy they work very well and they don't break your application as much as delegates do well at least for me they don't for people it might work a lot better okay just make two buttons Make them big so you can see them. And just call one of them one and the other two. And your file owner, you'll have your two actions. Drag them over one to one, touch up inside, and then two, touch up inside. Okay, now you have to make the post notifications. So we have our two. Um, actions here. Now we're going to make these actions dance for our amusement. Not literally, but near enough. Okay, so mm, I probably should have deleted half these methods, but it doesn't matter. And give us have some room. Okay, now this file is basically the same, same kind of setup as the observers do. So for one, you want NS notification center, default center. So it's just initializing it. Post notification. Now the name. Don't forget we have two names. Test one and uh, object is self because it's sending itself. And I'm just going to copy and paste this because it's almost the exact same. But don't forget we want to post this to the second observer. All right, so he wants us to know that when we press button one, it's going to be send the test one, which is this one. Now it's the same, they both got the same method, but because we're looking for the name of the notification, so we want to distinguish by the name. So if counter one's pressed, that'll increase, and counter two, that'll increase. Now just to warn you before I run this, there is a nice little bug loading the, um, the numbers into the text fields. It, does work you'll see now in one second it just takes a refresh to get them to fully update hopefully won't happen now okay so as you can see counter one and two are completely empty we're going to press counter one a few times one two three four five okay it's working this time good so these class aren't inheriting from each other they're not importing they have no idea who each other are but we're now sending messages a lot of clicks across classes. As you can see from the top of the M files, only important their own H. Same for the second view H, nothing imported. Yeah, these two classes are communicating perfectly, sending messages to one another. These are just text increases, but you can see there have no imports, no relationship, but they can still interact by using notifications. It's extremely handy and very easy to set up thing and I hope you find it helpful. The code for the start and the end will be on GitHub. Alright guys, hope you found this helpful. Talk to you soon. Goodbye.